Hey folks, Eddie from the Holler coming at you from the front porch with this edition of Happenings from the Holler. Now today our special guest is world-renowned Bigfoot hunters, cousin Billy Earl and his beautiful wife, Mary Elizabeth. Do you hear that? He thinks I'm beautiful. I'm Billy Earl. I don't think all that. Woman? Um, <clears throat> well, y'all went up to the Smoky Mountains last weekend, and from what I heard, it was pretty eventful when you was up there Bigfoot hunting. Won't y'all tell us a little bit about that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was, I mean, we found all kinds of sign, and we got after that sucker a couple of different times up there. And uh, he, we, we found some scat right there in the middle of the road, found a footprint. I mean, it was, I'm just, it was one of the hottest, absolute hottest trails I'd ever been on in my life. Really? What, did you lay eyes on him while you was there or anything like that? Well, now, I personally didn't lay eyes on him, but now, Mary Elizabeth said that she did. I seen something. It, it kind of looked like, I'm kind of new to this uh, Bigfoot hunting, but I'm pretty sure it was him. Going through those laurel bushes, I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, I mean, it was either him or it had to be a big old bear. But now, we was right behind him the whole time. Mm -hmm. uh, right after we found that scat down there, I told her, I said, look, I said, we're going to have to start being careful because they don't tell them what that thing will do if we get up there close enough to him or we get a picture of him. Really? Well, tell me a little bit. You say he's right behind him. Tell me a little bit about the terrain that he was in. Tell me a little bit about, you know, what made you go during the day? Most people Bigfoot hunt during the night, but what made y'all go during the day and do this? Well, we have to go during the day because... Billy girl, he's a little scared of the dark. I ain't. And so we have... You are too. Woman, quit telling stuff. But it's okay. Them other guys, they, we don't have any night vision stuff, mm -hmm. you know, or anything like that. So that's why we try to go during the day. And, um, but, you know, you see real good long ways off during the day. And that's why we try to do it then. But now the terrain that he was on... I'm telling you what, it was straight up and down. Mm -hmm. Now, if you better have your hiking boots on if you're going to go up there because there ain't no telling where you're going to end up at. It stunk. Yeah, it did stunk. He, he had kind of... I wonder if that was the area stinking or if it was him. I'm pretty sure it was him. We was real close to him the whole time. True, yeah. Well, now, let's just say the average person was going to go up there and do a little Bigfoot call and see if they could find him one of them up there. Where in the Smoky Mountains would you say they all go to well uh cousin eddie just being honest with you uh part of being a professional bigfoot hunter is being able to keep the places that you hunt under your hat and i ain't saying i'm doing that because you know i ain't trying to be stingy or nothing it's just if you go to giving out locations where you got proof positive of bigfoot there then you won't have one for long because there'll be a thousand people up there trying to get a picture of him and run him off well, you know, Billy Earl, that's, that is true. That is fact right there. There would be a whole lot of people up there if you gave them what your direct coordinates of where it was you was at. But y'all, let's take a little break, and let's have a word from our sponsors. Holler Life Apparel. How can you say you're from a holler if you don't have any Holler Life Apparel? Y'all go check out my website, hollerlifeapparel.com. Hey, folks, Billy Earl coming at you. Hi. Uh, have you ever pooped in the woods and fell back in it? Well, our boss motion decoys has came up with something that will keep that from ever happening again. The crap strap. It is the world's number one necessity for doing number two outdoors. Find these at airbossmotiondecoys.com. Absolutely. I want to give a big shout out to our sponsors, hollerlifeapparel.com and our boss motion decoys. For those crap straps because y'all don't know how handy that is for an old man that ain't got good knees but back to our story here billy earl uh you say that mary elizabeth while she was out there she thinks she's seen one of these bigfoots up here on the hill she couldn't really tell what it was but now tell us what happened whenever you got up there to where it was at well when i seen him he was way up the hill there and I'm not as young as I used to be, and my eyes are a little older, but I thought, I'm going to run up that hill and see what that is. Well, I got out of breath. Well, now, that's happened to the best of us from time to time, I suppose, but uh, y'all tell me what happened then. Well, about the time Mary Elizabeth stopped, she said, there's a squatch on that hill, and I was about 100 yards from her, around over on the right-hand side of the bluff, 
And and I thought, oh, Lordy, it's, I didn't thought it had hooked over now. And I, I could just see him and have him up by her feet shaking her or something. But here I come around that hillside. And let me tell you, you got to, when you run around one of them steep hillsides, you got to try to run up it or you'll wind up at the bottom of it. Because I went around through there and just hop, skippity, jump. The time I got over there, well, he done gone. Well, now, out of all the people that's up there in the Smoky Mountains every day, I mean, how do you reckon that y'all two are the only two that's seeing this squatch up here? Well, I think it was the stuff I've been working on. I've been making some squatch pea perfume. You ain't supposed to tell that. Why? Because it's our secret. Oh. Well, I think you liked it. Well, I guess it's done out now. Because, Nick, we've been trying to perfect the scent of squats here and you know just like you've got dough urine or anything else for deer hunting yeah, I think it works. or the fish pee that you put on your bait whenever you're fishing uh we're trying to get us uh perfect the squats pee to where that we can lure these animals in squats urine huh well mary elizabeth you say you think it works now tell us you know how do you use it what what makes you think it works well, I've been working on it for a while, and you just kind of dab some behind your ears and here on your neck, and I, mean, I tried some a couple weeks ago on Billy Earl, and he didn't know it, and he started strutting around and told me I was beautiful, and he looked like Peacock walking across the floor. Woman, you ain't supposed to tell that kind of stuff. Well, I, mean, I think it's working. working. We're on TV. Act like you've I mean, been here before. Eddie told me I was beautiful, too. I think it works on all men. Uh, when I just, wait a minute, Mary Elizabeth, I just, I was just, I didn't mean to say you was beautiful like that. I was just saying that, you know, you're his beautiful wife was all. Uh, Eddie? So you're saying I'm not beautiful? Now, wait a minute. This Squatch pee perfume, it's worked on every man so far. No, no, Mary Elizabeth, that's not what I meant, honey. Well, you mean it's worked on every man. How many men you tried it on? Okay, I think we ought to wrap this up here. Well, you mean ain't none of my business. You're my woman. Of course it's my business. I'm fixing to go get the skillet if you're going to act like that. Uh, <clears throat> okay, folks, I hope y'all enjoyed uh, this edition of Happenings in the Holler. Uh, I don't know if we'll have any sponsors to have any more or not. But anyway, hey, thank y'all for watching. And uh, y'all just stay tuned because there ain't no telling what you're going to see.